welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for being here if you guys are new thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe for our first October Halloween look. I am so so super excited for October. This is my first look that I have ever done for Halloween And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It's super 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 simple And it's a very cute deer look if you can't tell then I obviously did not do a really good job I did this look with very affordable and only makeup products. There is no face paint There's nothing like that on my face right now simply makeup and it's super super simple These are things that you could probably already have and if you need to get anything It's literally like super super duper affordable So if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching So first I'm going in with a primer so that I could have a base for my makeup to sit on top of this is the Maybelline hydrate and smooth primer and I highly Highly, highly recommend it next I'm going in with the L'Oreal fresh wear foundation this is my personal favorite foundation that I have tried thus far um, I just really like that it's a medium to full coverage and it leaves my face feeling like a natural satin um, look you can use any foundation that you guys want for this tutorial the foundation really does not matter any finish or coverage that you guys want is totally cool this is just the foundation that I have been trying that I like the best Next, I'm going in with the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Buff. And this is really where we're going to start uh, having a lot of definition to the face. I'm really extending out the triangles a lot. Uh, oh, and having a little dance break. Um, the triangles went a little uh, deeper than I usually go just because we are going for that cartoon um, slash animal uh, view. Also, I did go in and add a little bit more just because I wanted a lot more highlight. Um, like I said, again, we really want to contour the face. Then I'm going in with a much darker shade um, in the LA Girl Concealer. I believe this one is in Toast. Um, and I'm doing this in the perimeters of my face. Um, and you'll see that I go in with a small brush. But then I go in and change my brush to an E20, which is a, basically a much bigger, fluffier brush that I personally like better just so that I can get an overall blend of the concealer. And I really wanted to add this because I ended up contouring my chin and I didn't like it. So I literally just took it off. Guys, remember that this is Halloween. It's makeup. It's okay. If you guys mess up or if you guys don't like something, just wipe it off. Literally, that's what I did. And that's why I wanted to keep it in this video too because, you know, sometimes we make mistakes and we don't like it. And we can just wipe it off with some makeup remover and just keep on going. So this is literally what I'm doing. I'm just reapplying a little bit of foundation to the bottom of my chin and moving on. I'm using the second darkest shade in the NYX contour palette. And if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I still felt like this look was not looking how I wanted it to. Um, I felt like it looked patchy. I feel like I didn't blend it right. But I was still going and just trying to push through in this tutorial. Um, and here I'm just basically setting the contour that I had laid out in the beginning with the darker concealer. And then I am also going to go in with the yellow um, shade first, blending out any creases. But then I am going to go in with the yellow shade in the next contour palette and setting all of the highlights in my face I really like setting um, any creams with a sponge because I just feel like it really presses in the powder and it doesn't give you a lot of excess powder next I'm gonna just do my eyebrows off camera because my eyebrows wasn't really a lot to show you can do your eyebrows however you want I just did them a little bit more bold now here is where things get interesting I really wanted to do just a thin winged liner the simplest thin wing liner that could ever exist but things went a lot different um i really didn't want anything to focus on the eyes i really wanted the face to be more of the focus but while i was doing my wing liner this is what happened a disaster i tried to do a wing liner and i have hooded lids and everything went everywhere so i tried to do kind of like this semicircle thing and I basically looked like a bandit or like a raccoon and it was not the look I was going for. So basically I ended up having a full wing liner. Um, then I basically go in with the same shade as I have been and I am contouring my nose. I'm going on both sides and I'm basically just making my nose look a lot wider. Um, kind of that of a deer nose and hitting the bottom of my nose, my cupid's bar 
uh, my cupid's bow and also the bottom um, of my bottom lip just so I can get more definition and shadows. I then go in with the eyebrow, um, the elf eyebrow and powder um, kit and I'm basically just doing like a sketch of what I want my nose to look like. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you guys can go about this. I just kind of looked at a reference. Um, I wanted like a cute little almost like a button nose. Um, make sure to get the bottom of like where your nostrils are too because then it'll look a little weird if you don't. Um, and I'm basically just using the wax of the actual eyebrow kit and then I'm going to go in with the actual powder that I have been using this whole time, the NYX contour palette um, the second darkest shade and I'm basically gonna set that with the powder once I'm done and this is really where I started to see this look come together and this was one of my favorite 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 parts this is when I actually started adding the dots this is the creative part you can add as many as little as big as whatever you want um, basically I'm using the same concealer that I used to highlight the LA girl concealer in the shade buff and I'm just adding these dots as I see fit I'm not really you know looking at a reference or anything I'm just seeing where I want a dot and then I like I said I get really really excited um, for the last and final step um, I'm basically just going to take the same powder that I have been using basically this whole time um, and just basically filling in my top lip with it um, and then the bottom lip, I'm going to use a nude lipstick. The lipstick that I'm actually using is a Wet n Wild lipstick that I've bought. And it's literally one of my favorites. And it is super, super duper affordable. And that's basically it. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!